Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to discuss uh, a tool that can be used to intercept any radio signals, right? Hackers use this, you can use this. So without further ado, let's get right to it. We're going dark. The tool in question is the tiny SA, right? So let's let's get into it. So to intercept radio signals using tiny SA, you're gonna need these items, right? Or equipment, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna need the tiny SA or tiny SA Ultra, the antenna, preferably an outdoor or larger antenna for better reception, an adapter to connect the antenna to the tiny SA, right? Uh, the SMA to SO239 adapter, headphones if you want to listen to the signals, right? Now here is how to use it. So the steps to intercept radio signals, number one, set up the tiny SA, right? Connect the tiny SA to your antenna using the appropriate adapter. For instance, you can use an SMA2 SO239 adapter to connect an outdoor antenna. Then you wanna to wanna to power on the tiny SA. Configure the frequency range, right? Set the frequency range you want to scan. For example, you can start from zero um, megahertz to 800 megahertz to cover a broad spectrum. You, you know, you, you can use the, use the touch screen to input the start and stop frequencies. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment right now, hit that subscribe button and the like button. Number three, scan for signals, right? Initiate a scan to detect signals. The tiny SA will display uh, the detected signals on its screen in real time. This allows you to see a wide range of frequencies and identify active transmissions uh, and then listen to signals, right? If you want to listen to the intercepted signals, plug in headphones into the tiny SA's headphone jack. The tiny SA Ultra, for instance, has a listening mode that allows you to hear the audio of the intercepted signals now there's going to be some fine tuning and settings right so adjust the resolution bandwidth rbw and other settings to fine tune the signal detection the tiny sa has a minimum rbw of about 2.6 uh, kilohertz which is useful for generating rf surveying so the use of config slash more slash AGC settings to manage automatic gain control for better signal clarity. So here is tips for better reception. You're gonna use a larger antenna, right? A larger or outdoor antenna can significantly improve signal reception compared to the small telescoping antenna that comes with the tiny SA. Uh, adjust the scan span, right? Decreasing the scan span can increase the accuracy of the frequency measurements. Shielding and noise reduction ensure proper shielding to reduce interference from nearby transmitters or electronic devices so by following those steps that I just talked about you can effectively use the tiny SA to intercept and listen to various radio signals across a wide range of frequencies so uh, can the tiny SA detect Wi-Fi signals yes particularly with the tiny SA ultra model here are some key points that you're gonna want to know, right? So the tiny SA Ultra can observe Wi-Fi signals in the 2.4 gigahertz band using its pre-built capabilities and a small telescopic antenna. To optimize Wi-Fi signal detection, disable spur removal in the configuration settings for faster scanning of short Wi-Fi bursts. Use the max hold feature in the trace settings to see the shape of Wi-Fi channels more clearly. Enable the online mode to see which transmitters are active in real time. The tiny SA Ultra has an extended frequency range of, you know, up to 6 gigahertz calibrated to 5.3 gig, uh, gigahertz, right? Which covers both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi bands. So when comparing the tiny SA Ultra to more expensive equipment like the Anritsu BTS Master, it showed good accuracy in detecting Wi-Fi signals, particularly in identifying strong channel signals with fairly good frequency and amplitude accuracy. So for better reception, using a larger or outdoor antenna can significantly improve signal detection compared to the small telescopic antenna that comes with the device. So while the tiny SA, especially the ultra model, is capable of detecting Wi-Fi signals, it's important to note it's primarily it's primarily a spectrum analyzer, right? So for more detailed Wi-Fi uh, analysis, specialized Wi-Fi uh, analyzers or software tools might provide more comprehensive information about network performance, channel usage, and interference. So can the tiny SA differentiate between Wi-Fi and other wireless networks? The answer to that question is yes. The tiny SA can dif uh, differentiate between Wi-Fi and other wireless networks, but with some limitations. So here's how you can use it to distinguish different wireless signals. 
frequency range, right? The Tiny SA Ultra can observe signals in the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands, which covers Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other wireless networks. This allows you to see the different frequency ranges used by various technologies, right? And then you have the signal patterns. Wi-Fi signals have distinct patterns that can be observed on the Tiny SA. For example, Wi-Fi channels typically appear as wider, more consistent signals compared to the frequency hopping patterns of Bluetooth. Then you have the channel visualization. Using the max hold feature, you can see the shape of Wi-Fi signals more clearly, which helps differentiate them from other signals. And then you have the multiple network observation. The Tiny SA can be used to observe various wireless networks simultaneously, including Wi-Fi 433 megahertz, ICM, mobile phone, and DECT, decked traffic, right? And then now let's get into settings optimization. Disabling spur removal in the configuration settings help detect short bursts of Wi-Fi activity more effectively. Using the online mode allows you to see which transmitters are active in real time, helping to distinguish between different network types. And then you have the resolution limitations. So while the Tiny SA can show different wireless signals, its sweep speed may be too slow to capture all signals consistently, especially for fast changing technologies like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. This means you might not see all signals in real time, but you can build a picture over time using features like the max hold. And then the signal strength comparison, you can compare the signal strength of different wireless networks such as Bluetooth versus Wi-Fi by adjusting the frequency range and using the max hold feature. It's important to note that while the Tiny SA can help differentiate between wireless networks, it may not provide the same level of detailed analysis as specialized Wi-Fi or network analyzers. So, for more precise measurements and real-time analysis, real-time spectrum analyzer could be more suitable, okay? So you wanna keep that in mind. Now, can the Tiny SA be used to monitor mobile phone networks? The answer to that question is yes, right? The Tiny SA can be used to monitor mobile phone networks. So, frequency range, right? The Tiny SA Ultra model has extended frequency range of up to six gigahertz, right? Again, we talked about it, calibrated to 5.3 gigahertz, which covers the frequency bands used by most mobile phone networks. And then you have observing base stations. Users have reported uh, being able to see cell phone base station signals easily using the Tiny SA with, with just the small telescopic antenna. This can be done by scanning between 800 to 2100 megahertz, uh, which covers many common cellular frequency bands and then settings optimization, right? We talked about it. Disable spur removal in the configuration settings when trying to observe bursty signals like those from cell phones. So that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Once again, like I said, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. Uh, is there a better tool that you feel that can be used to intercept radio signals, Wi-Fi signals, whatever you want to call it? Please let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.